This is how to install Cyanogen Mod or any other custom ROM on a Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. So as you can see right now, I am running the fully stock ROM. Go into settings. About device. You can see from our version 2.3.5. And yeah, stock ROM. So yeah, I am going to show you how to install Cyanogen Mod. So let's start by installing the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is power down your device. Once it shuts down, you will need to put the device in download mode. So once it shuts down, I'll show you how to do that. So how to put it in download mode is you hold the down volume button while holding the power button. So as you can see, I'm doing that. Now you can see it is in download mode. It says downloading. So now plug in your USB cable. Actually, before you plug in your USB cable, you're going to need to install the Samsung mobile device drivers. Samsung, yeah, Samsung mobile device drivers. Um, I'll put a link to the driver package in the description. And you will need a few utilities and files. One of which is Odin. As you can see, I have it right there. You will need... Oh, whoops, that's not it. You will need this file. This is the custom recovery with or with Clockwork Mod Recovery. And this is actually the stock ROM. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. Um, so you can install that if you don't like Cyanogen Mod. So, the version of Cyanogen Mod I'll be using is 10.2 by the way. So, you can go ahead and plug your device into USB. Do that. And here the computer has detected it. Now what you want to do is open Odin. Click PDA right there. Select the DD um, that DD dot tar file there. Press open and click start. And I'll flash the kernel, as you can see there. And the system will start rebooting. Let it boot back up into the operating system. And then you will need to actually flash a Cyanogen Mod 9 ROM before you flash a Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM. So I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Um, so yeah, I will resume the video once... I, the device boots up and I get the ROM. Okay, so as you can see, I've gotten the Synergen Mod 9 ROM copied to the SD card of the device. Um, what you'll need also are the Synergen Mod 10.2. This is the actual ROM right here. This includes the international kernel and this is the USA kernel, which I'm going to need to flash later since I have a USA device. I'll explain the differences between them in just a second. But what you're also going to need is the gapps package. All of these files are located in the thread for the Cyanogen Mod 10.2 ROM, which I'll put a link to in the description. So this is the gapp, and the reason you'll need this gapps package is because the one included, or the normal gapps package, is actually too big to fit on the system partition of this device with the Cyanogen Mod 10.2 ROM. So you have to use a cut down version, which is what this is. So you can just use the core, and you can also install these add-ons. So I like to install Face Unlock and Genie Widget, because I find those sort of useful, mainly Genie Widget. Face Unlock I'm just installing just in case I ever want to use it. So, once you've gotten all those um, files on your device, 
you can go ahead and boot into recovery. Or actually, hold on. Let me explain what the difference between the international version and the USA version of this device is. So as you can see here, I have the USA, to USA version. The USA version has a capacitive home button instead of a physical home button, which is what the international or Korean devices have. And so yeah, I need all the USA kernels. And by the way, the kernel used to get Clockwork Mod Recovery on here was the USA kernel. So you're going to need to download the um, international version if you have an international device. I'll put a link to both of them in the description. So, once you've gotten the recovery installed and all these files put on the device, you can go ahead and, and boot into recovery mode. So, you can go ahead and disconnect USB storage. And shut down the device. Okay, so once the device is shut down, to boot into recovery mode, you hold down the power button and the volume up button until you see the Samsung logo. Be sure to release right when the logo appears, or it'll reboot the, system, the device again. So, I'm going to do that now. And you will now boot into recovery. Okay, so once you're in recovery, and yes, I did pause the video because I accidentally messed up the first part of the video and I forgot to um, flash the custom kernel back on. But, um, yeah, as you can see, now we're in clockwork mod recovery. So, how to navigate this is you use the volume button, volume up and down buttons to scroll through the options, and you press the power button to select. So what we're going to want to do now is go into wipe data slash factory reset. Click yes. Just wait. Now, um, scroll down to it, mounts and storage and go down to format system. And the last thing we need to do before we flash is go to Advanced and wipe Dalvik Cache. Now, go down to Install Zip from SD Card and click Choose Zip from Internal SD Card if you use the internal storage or click Choose Zip from SD Card if you use a micro SD card for the ROMs. So I'm just going to do that. Scroll down to your CyanogenMod 9 ROM, which as you can see is right there, labeled CM9. So we'll go ahead and flash that. As you can see, it is flashing. Now this part of the install is sort of a pain because you have to actually boot into the operating system before you can actually flash CM 10.2, but, um, alright, so as you can see it's done, we'll do go back and reboot system now. Now, do not go into recovery using the key combinations. That will actually, with these new ROMs, will actually get you stuck in recovery. And if that happens, you're pretty much screwed. So once the system boots up and I get it all set up, I will show you what to do next. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now booted up and running CyanogenMod 9. Um, this is only temporary. This ROM actually doesn't support hardware acceleration, so everything is super laggy. 
as you may be able to see. So, now hold down the power button, click reboot, and click recovery, and press OK. Now, rebooting into recovery this way will not get you stuck in recovery. So, we'll just wait for that to boot. Okay, so as you can see, we're in um, Cyanogen Mod, or Clockwork Mod Recovery again. Um, so what you're going to want to do now is basically do the same thing you did before. Wipe Data, Factory Reset. Yes. Um, mounts in Storage, Format System. And then lastly, Advanced Wipe Dalvik Cache. Now click Install Zip from SD Card and go to the Cyanogen Mod 10.2 ROM, which is right above the highlighted one there. So go ahead and flash that. So, just wait. It does take a while, as you can see. And should be done in a minute. Okay, it's done. Now, go back to choose zip from internal SD card or SD card, depending on what you're using. Now, if you have a USA device like I do, you're going to want to flash the USA kernel. So we'll do that now. It won't take very long. Okay, that's already done. Um, go back down to install zip from internal SD card and install your gapps package. Here are your packages, depending on what you're going to use. So, install the core first. Now, if it finishes fast like that, you might want to reflash it because um, I'm not. After you go into mounts and storage and mount system, because sometimes it has a little glitch where it doesn't remount system and install, it won't install properly. So, just to be safe, I'm just going to flash it again after manually mounting system. See, as you can see, it is taking a, quite a bit longer. So you're going to want to remember that. Now, go back to choose zip from internal SD card and install your add-on packages if you so desire. Now that one's a small package, so that one is going to take, not going to take that long. And lastly, I will install face unlock. Now, actually, you might want to redo that again because it didn't look like it mounted system. So, just be aware of that. I'm going to flash both of those. Let's do Genie Widget again. Now, it will unmount system every time you flash. So, it does that to ensure all files are flashed properly. And lastly, 
face unlock. Yep, it is taking a little bit longer, like I anticipated. And finally, reboot the system. And as you can see, the boot logo has changed a little bit. And it will start loading Cyanogen Mod 10, as you can see. Now it will take quite a while to boot, just like Cyanogen Mod 9 did. So, I will resume the video once it is all booted and set up. Okay, so as you can see, Cyanogen Mod 10.2 has booted on the device. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. Now, after you flash the ROM, you're also going to want to enable um, the recovery boot option because, as you can see, it is not enabled by default. So to do that, go into Settings, scroll down to About Tablet, scroll down to Build Number, and tap that, like that. As you can see, it is showing that you're becoming a developer. As you can see, I've enabled development settings now. You'll see a new option, developer options. Click on that and check advanced reboot. Now, in the power menu, reboot, you will once again get that recovery option. So, that is how to successfully install Cyanogen mod or another custom ROM of your choosing on the Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. Hope you enjoyed this video.